Hey, it's Nicholas back again. Yeah, I'm back. Another video for you. Okay, today we're back with a Linux Mint 21.1. Okay. Now, I've never had much luck with Linux Mint over the years. A uh, decade, at least, shall I say. But it has come on and on and on to be one of the most favourite distros out there. And there are certain reasons for this, and we're going to go through that with you. So I've installed it in the box, okay, it's not on real hardware because I've got to get a few more um, SSDs, the smaller ones, to do on real hardware. That is my goal. I've only got one at the moment and I've only got some spinning disks and they just can't cut it now for ordinary work. So anyway, enough of that. We're back with Linux Mint. It looks really good. It works really good. I've updated it after installing it in the box, of course. I was still Google Chrome, Firefox is your default, you got a terminal, and of course we're running XFCE. I will always revert to XFCE when I'm doing these sort of things, or a lower specs, shall we say. No, no, it's not the right word. Uh, for lower hardware. But remember, XFCE doesn't uh, actually come into that segment anymore. It actually uses more than KDE now, and of course more than... JWM and all the others and rat poison blah 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 but anyway enough of that let's get back to it nice and polished they always have nice desktop backgrounds it's superb always nice on the bottom here there's loads of theming you can do you can do whatever you like so your menu of course is always on the left hand so it's always if you're with uh, Windows you've been with Windows it might be an easy come over for you you know it, well, it could be now, the first one I'm going to do is go to Favourites, of course. So Firefox is there, Chunderbird is there. Now, not everybody likes to use a computer-based mail client, whereas I do. Now, the only thing with a, a computer-based web client is you get loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff on your own PC, whereas you use web-based, it's not so bad. Okay, So make sure you want, you're going to lead a... At least one, two, I would say at least a two terabyte drive. Because the amount of stuff I don't delete in my mail clients is unbelievable. Most of you, like me, will have more than one email address here. Yeah? I mean, with Gmail, I've got three. And that's without all the rest. You know? Now, this one I don't like. Rhythmbox is a competent player, but I think it may have lost its place, personally. It should be changed. This is my personal opinion. Nobody else's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Also, in this bit section, you've got the calculator, your text editor, your software manager, which is the software center, basically, but mint orientated, and your task manager. Don't like this one. It's horrible. It's the old skull. I don't like it. Change, please. But anyway, it's there for you. As you can see, we're not using nothing. I've got to get quite a, a large uh, hard drive, or virtual hard drive, to say this. And of course, on this section, we've got crack. We've got recently used all applications, blah. Now, what I want to do, if I go back to favorites and we go to software manager, and we'll wait for it to boot up. Remember, we are in a virtual machine here, and this machine is old. Yeah. It comes with LibreOffice. Okay. But Linux Mint can also do flat packs. As standard, it comes with it. You don't have to do anything to do it. So if you if you're um, coming from a Ubuntu based distro like Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, Bidibidibuntu, or whatever Ubuntu you want to do, you'll have to add the extras for that. But this comes already done for you. So I'm going to type in only Office, and it'll go and search for me, and it's found it in the Flat Hub. So if I click on it. Now, the reason I'm saying this is LibreOffice is fantastic and I love using it, but if you're working in schools like I do and they use Microsoft Word all the time, even if some of them are, you know, not the latest Microsoft Words, but if you're lucky to be in a school where they've got all the current ones, this is one of the only ones that's going to help you out. So all the fonts will come out and the, the formatting will be right. So all you do here is click on install. It wants all these other stuff. So a lot more gigs will be used up. I've got quite a bit here, so it won't be so bad. So I'll click on continue. 
and it's just going to install for me. Look at that. Isn't that nice and easy? Uh, one thing here, it didn't ask me for my password. Mm, because that's because it's just down there in the f flat pack from the flat hub, I imagine. I'm going to have a bit of orange juice. Thank you very much. And in here we have 1.1 gig to download, and it's going to use 3.5 afterwards. I've got about 7 left over in the virtual machine anyway, so that's plenty. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to move that over here to the corner, and we go back to the menu while that's doing its stuff. Unless it tells me something else. So anyway, under accessories, you get all the usual stuff you would do in Ubuntu and XFCE. It's all here for you. It's great. I like it. I mean, I keep thinking, should I go back to XFCE? I really do, because I, I was with it for years and years and years. Then last year, a lot of things happened. Nothing important, don't worry about that. But it just happened, and I was doing something else on different discs. And that will come in a future video, so don't worry about that. So, under graphics, a document scanner, drawing. Okay, so look at that guy. Let's give drawing a go. I'll, it's got 4 giga RAM. No, I don't want to look because it's not you. Oh, it's just a... Okay, let me drag that out a little bit. What do I do? Oh, you just draw. Okay. It's just called drawing. So I can put... I'm terrible of a mouse at this. I've got to get one of those pens and, and the thing. I've really, really got to get one of those. Because I'm going to angle it up. Yeah. Other eye. Yes. There you go. Oh, bloody hell. Discard that. Don't want it. Okay. Only Office is installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out of there. We're going to go back to the menu. Go to Office. In theory, it should be there. So as you can see, in Office, we've got all the LibreOffice stuff, which is fantastic. But if we've got Only Office here. Give it a word, because it's flat hub, remember? Ooh. Create an Office Cloud. No, I don't want a cloud. I just want to make a document. So if you click on Document, now when you're making documents, say an office or your work or to send to some friends at Windows and well, especially Windows users, it might be easier to use this. To be honest with you, it's a freebie. Okay, you can buy a paid one as far as I'm aware. But yeah, it works. Next, under System, get your backup tool. Yeah, it works. I've used it. It's superb. Driver. It is basically Ubuntu stroke Debian, but there is a Debian version. Okay. Get your logs, printers, etc., etc., etc. Your software sources. You can do everything here you need to do. It's XFC, guys. I don't know if this video is not going to be very long, because you know what it looks like. But I would say now, I could actually use this. I really could. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, I install Simple Screen Recorder. Let's see if I can record within a recording. Let's give that a go, shall we? So I have a recording here on a two-core machine. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. So if I can continue. We'll keep it NKV, that's fine. We're going to do a separate video about Simple Screen Recorder and OBS very soon. I'm going to let frame skip in, so that's fine. Continue. We're going to start recording. I'm going to wavy round here like that, and here, yeah, 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 and save recording. Go back to the start, start, start screen. Then I'm going to my files. That should in theory be in my videos, and there it is. So I'll double click that. In theory, there's the video. So we're recording a video within a video on the same machine. It works. Celluloid. I'm going to look into that more too. So yeah, Linux Mint is just come on leaps and bounds, even using the virtual machine. When I first started using it, oh, I'm going back to like whew, more than 10 years ago, maybe more than that, when it first came out onto the market. Well, not market, onto the scene of Linux distros. It just didn't work for me in virtual machine or hardware. But obviously it's grown. The whole of the Linux subsystem has grown so much that basically most distros will work, whatever happens.
Yes, some will have some kinks and that, but hey. But on the whole, I'm using this is just I can't fault it really. Can't fault it. I'll open the browser for you. I'll open the Fox. I'm not sure if this is this is the installed Fox, I think, because there was a bit of palaver a while ago about using snaps for it. So if I click on YouTube, just go there. What I'll do, I'll just type my name in just to make sure it's all legally bound and all that. So we'll do that. And I'm here, okay? And that's yesterday's video for ChatGPT. That was fun. Ooh, yeah. So I'll just click on that. We'll probably get a video like now. I've got the video in my ear rolls. That's one of the reasons why I'm using a simple screen recorder. Doing that. Plays virtu virtually perfect. Look at that. Super. So yeah. Linux Mix. Linux Minx. Linux Mint 21. One. Recommended. I'm going to keep it on the system and, and play with it a bit more. Just to see if I can find any faults. But like a latest album from uh, Taylor Swift. I can't. It really upsets me. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you loads. Bye bye.